click on participants select yes. my name make me host okay so we successfully added one company here i'm going to add one more company see nmdc is a one more company nmdc okay from where i'm going to get nmdc okay. morning we received a communication in this particular group chart where is that group chart do, 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 do. there are links are there what is that link so today morning we discussed see here I entered at 160 rupees, he entered at 164 rupees. Okay. How I'm going to get the details of this? How I'm going to get this kind of details? Whatever the details you are seeing here, this particular detail information, where I'm going to get for the respective company. Now, I'm going to go to this particular link only so you are in a position to understand where we are going how we are going to get a information of that particular company okay i'm going to click on that link this is the news article i received or i am going through my google account or my in mobile okay so once i'm going to get i'm going to get it else what is the detail this is a company name small cap company from hotels and resource industry, Advani Hotels. So I don't know the company, just I'm going to copy Advani Hotels. I'm going to come back to this zero the account. I'm going to type Advani. See here, as soon as I type Advani, it is coming like this. The name might be different, but here at the end, you can see Advani Hotels and Resorts. Okay, I'm going to click on plus. So it is going to add it here. Okay. Now company's account is added. In the list, whatever the company is added, if you move the mouse onto the company, respect mm -hmm. to company, there are commands are going to activate. See, I'm moving the mouse onto the company. I'm getting B. B means buy. Yes means sell. The next four lines, it is a market depth. What is the market depth? If you click here, it is not going to help any manner just to understand what is that icon. If you see here, whatever the blue numbers you are seeing here, that is buyers. Those many buyers are there to purchase this particular company. Whatever the red you are able to see, all are showing as a zero, zero. That means those money members are ready to sell. Blue indicates ready to buy. Madam Red means Madam. ready to sell. Okay. Madam Madam. Okay. When the price is going to increase, whenever the buyers are more compared to sellers, the stock price will increase. Yes, please. Any doubt? No, no, no. Continue. Okay. Whenever sellers are buyers are more comparatively to sellers. share price automatically increase out of Demand is there. Whenever whenever sellers are more than buyers automatically the price value you go down okay? okay that is a funda here now i am going to click on again the market depth icon to get rid of the details right the next one is important icon is this one Sorry. chart as soon as you click on chart you are going to get some information in this particular picture what we need to understand about this picture there you are able to see some green and some red uh, that bars right okay these red and green things we are going to call it as 
candles. Okay. The same graph, if I want to open in a new tab, okay, what I need to do? Either I need to click on here, this is a place to open in, in a different tab. I can click on here to open in a new tab or else. And the same company, the three dots are going to come Thank here. You. Click on the three dots yeah. and open a chart option yeah. with that. I'm going to showcase how to open chart in new tab. See Adani. If I click here, it is going to open the chart here itself. If you click on these three dots, there you are going to get option of chart. At the same time, icon is there pop out. You need to click on this pop out. It is going to open a new tab. Okay, this is a window to understand more clearly. Okay, okay, and then I take it there, Pastan and I take it there, which was done up with me, hand of chest. Okay, okay. Oxa culture and day, I take it the grata, my old mother's road lines, turn this me to Susan. Okay, Okay. Okay. Now in this place, you can see that I'm going to remove some configuration to understand, to add it again. Okay, no need to worry. I'm going to remove. Okay. Now, as soon as you open this new graph, you are going to get only this information. Okay. In this picture, the first thing what you need to understand the first icon on the top layout. The, on the first picture, the top layout, whatever the pictures you are able to see in this particular layout. One, two, three, and this one. Okay, what is this icons we are going to do? We have to understand just enabling some configuration, simple configuration. Okay, I am going to remove this and first one I'm going to drop down here. This is the whatever the layout currently you are seeing that is nothing but candles layout type of graph candle. If you choose bar that background, it is going to change in different manner. Just have a look. See here. This is a bar, and you can see colored bar like this. It is going to change. We are going to use only candle. Okay, clear. Now the next one is next icon. This here interval. What whatever the red and green you are able to see here that we called candle. That same candle represents interval. Currently, what is there? 5 M. 5 M denotes 5 minutes. If I select one day, that means it is going to represent each candle one day duration. If I select one day, whatever the candle you are able to see, red and green, each candle represents one day. Okay? So, this is an interval. 5 minutes, one day, one hour, all these intervals. Okay? Next, we are going to get enable one cross hair. This is a cross here. I'm going to click on this. What it is going to get here. I'm going to click see here. As soon as I click on this plus mark, I'm getting this horizontal and vertical lines. With the help of this horizontal and vertical lines, I can see the candle start and end point. What is the candle I'm there? Vertical line denotes the date. And time. Horizontal line denotes at that particular point what is the price. Now, what is the date you are able to see? 11-11-2023. And what is the price at that point? 98.71. Now, see here. I am moving on the same bar to the top about this particular point on the same day. On the same day, the price is varied from the 98 rupees to 116. Right. 
in, in nothing but it increased from it varied from 20 uh, 20 rupees variation was there nearly 18 rupees variation is there okay that is the indicator you can see any day as soon as i move vertical bar each vertical bar represents one one day okay why i selected this interval is day i am going to move to 5 minutes interval now see here i am moving candle each candle now what is the time 30th to january 10:55 10:55 next candle if i see here 10:55 to 11 that yes. means each candle represents 5 minutes interval in that 5 minutes what is the variation 159 to 161 2 rupees variation okay so we are going to do short term trading whenever we are going to buy a company we need to make sure this interval should be in a day one day interval no 5 minutes no other one we have to choose one day interval okay candles are there now what is the point to enter where to come out a simple strategy we are going to draw a line what is that lines that lines we are going to add in studies what is that studies we are going to click on studies type moving average moving average this is a moving average okay now in the same graph i am going to add additional configuration to get a better picture where to purchase where to exit where to sell where to buy by helping of moving average i am selecting moving average the period i am going to choose five initially the color i am going to choose a green color as soon as i am going to click on done you are able to see some green line it is going and up and down up and down right what is this moving average five for past five days how what is the average how it is behaving according to last five days the next point is going to come into picture okay that is moving average i am going to add one more moving average select moving average again and i am going to select 10 now 10 and leave the color as a red i am going to click on done now two lines are appearing here one is green one is red now i am going to add one more study the moving average again i am going to mention 50 now color changing to blue okay now what we need to understand from these three lines we know that red and blue red and green candles are there that is the price variation on the same interval and these three lines what is the moving average we added three lines 5 10 50 five days moving average indicates green line red line indicates 10 days moving average blue line indicates 50 days moving average by using these three lines i am going to decide where to buy where to sell okay so from this graph you need to understand i am going to showcase now where we are in whenever you are going to purchase it should be in a day interval one day interval when i am going to enter whenever green line is going to cross red line and coming up what are the points this is one place this is a second place this is a third place this is another place and this is again mm -hmm. one more place in all these places what is happening in all these places what is happening the, the green, green line is, is up then the red line yes we need to catch that point 
we need to catch that point whenever green line is going to go above red line or crossing the red line and coming upwards that is the place we need to find out and enter to purchase a share now i'm going to move this lines now i'm going to place this marks see here now the first one what is the price at this point it is the place green line is crossing red line coming up what is the price 86 86 rupees. right yeah. so when to sell it out whenever the bars the candle see the candles what are the candle it is coming on wearing from start and end dates are above green only right mm -hmm. whenever the candle is crossing green and going down that is the point we need to come out of from the and that is a point we need to understand the share is going down that is a place we need to sell it off now for example if i enter at this place what is the 87 rupees now where it is candle is going down below green line and this is a place the candle below green line right so what is the price here 101 if i purchase at 86 rupees 100 shares and i'm going to sell at this place one or two how much variation maybe 10 rupees 12 rupees, rupees 10 rupees 100 mm -hmm. into 10 thousand rupees i'm going to get profit okay so this is a place here also for example if i enter again second point is came here 99. now i notice this green line is crossing here i am going to notice that i am going to enter at 99 rupees 100 rupees when to exit see when to exit where the indication is coming up wherever this particular candle is below green line or this green line is going to take a turn that is a place i am going to be ready to sell it off if i enter 99 to 100 rupees see here this is a point i am going to sell 120 rupees how much points 20 rupees 20 rupees if i have 10 shares 10 into 20 200 rupees right if i purchase 100 shares 100 into 20 2000 rupees okay so we need to see that for example this is second point it is giving uh, 20 points first point only 10 points if you see third point if i enter here what is the price 107 immediately within the three points only it is green candle come and going down i cannot sell with three rupees why while purchasing a sell there is a, some brokerage charges mm -hmm. while selling also some brokerage charges will be there that is varies from 10 rupees to 30 rupees if i sell 10 rupees 30 rupees what are the profit i am going to get that is not sufficient for my profit right so we are going to leave that company share as it is we are going to come back when you are going to sell at any point of time after 10 days see how many days here if you enter for example you notice that the green line is coming up okay this is the point you good to enter we are not sure is going up or it is going down for example we entered at 107 rupees now after enter it go down went down till 197 rupees we are not going to sell will wait at any point of time after how many days one two three four like after 15 days what is the price now today 163 see this is a short term short term is nothing but after two days any time is short term after certain more days like after weeks after months that is comes under as long term okay we are going to do activity in a short term within two days or within 10 days or within one month we are ready to sell to book the profits now if you enter at this point 107 rupees imagine it is increased to 60 rupees if you have 100 shares with you how much you are investing 10,000 right mm -hmm. if you invest 100 shares 10,000 how much you are going to get here 64 rupees variation is there 
60,000, 6,000 rupees for 10,000 investment, you are going to get a profit of 6,000. That means your investment is already 50%, but I'm not going to wait until that. Whenever I see 10%, I'm going to sell it off and then I'm going to come back. Okay. No greediness in this particular activity. We have to be happy with what we are going to get. Like these companies are thousand companies are there. Okay. Is it point clear where to enter, where to exit? Right. Yes. Clear, clear, yes. Now I'm going to showcase one more important point. That is... back to this now i'm going to buy whenever you are going to buy we need to make sure never ever select the market we have to make sure we have to select limit and we need to select long term long term and limit and you need to mention what is the price what price you need to mention this price is going to keep on change here it is a BSC and NSC. What is BSC? What is NSC? Bombay Stock Exchange, National Stock Exchange. National Stock Exchange. Both are same. You can purchase any one, no matter, no difference. Okay. Both are equally important. Okay. Most probably, if it is NSC is available, we are going to select NSC by default. Okay. We need to select NSC if it is available. And we need to make sure long term mm -hmm. is selected. We need limit. to make sure limit is selected. Once limit is selected, we need to see how the price is varying. If it is all of a sudden varying 10 rupees, 50 rupees like that, don't buy any share. It has to be very like 10 paisa, 1 rupee, like that, it is okay. According to the price variation, we have to make sure, modify this price, and then you are going to get what is the total amount. Here, charges and total amount what is the charge by entering the quantity for one quantity it is going to charge you 0. 0.20 paisa if you 100 quantity if you enter the same quantity this price 162 rupees becomes 16000 right 100 shares if you enter 100 shares 16000 it will come right I'm going to clear. I'm going to mention 100. According to price, it is variation price, variation margin. What is the price variation? 16,250. What is the charge to purchase the 100 shares? It is going to charge 18 rupees. So total amount we need to have under funds. This is the place we have to enter. While purchasing a shares, we need to make sure long term and limit. That is important. Market is going to open at 9.15. Okay, every day at 9.15. And we should not never purchase any share at initial starting stage. Initial starting stage, all of a sudden will go down, all of a sudden will go up. We should not enter at this stage. Okay. Maybe 9 30, 10 o'clock, better to analyze, understand, and then enter according to our basic rule. How green should be on above red line. That is the point we need to understand and enter. Okay. Right. While buying selling also. Selling also same principle. We have to mention long term and you have to mention the price. You need to sell price and then sell. Okay, this is the same principle it is going to apply in sell also. What to enter funds? Once account is activated, you have to add funds here. Click on funds in this particular account. Here you are going to have add funds option. While add funds option, you are going to mention amount, for example, 1000 rupees or 10,000. Equity, derivatives, you need to select equity. And what are the bank account? It is going to display over here. Your UPI ID, you need to mention. This UPI ID, you should not mention any other account other than this, whatever the account you registered. Okay? UPI is free to add the funds. If you add net banking for the same bank account, 
you have to it is going to charge you nine rupees plus GST. Okay. Okay. This is the limitation. Okay. Once your account is activated, you can add funds. Start with thousand rupees. No hurry. No issues. First, understand what is the parameters we discussed here. By adding hundred thousand rupees or five hundred rupees as a funds, once funds are added, just try to purchase a first share gold piece. Gold. Gold piece is a one gold fund. Okay, you add the gold piece here. It is by default will be added as soon as account is created. You will find gold piece here. Okay. Forget about a price, what are the price, what are the start, no need to do anything, just buy one share, one, two, um, as per your wish. Okay, we are not going to sell this, we'll be there in our account as a sentiment. Okay? Clear? Yeah. Any doubts until this? Any doubts? No, no. Okay. I'm going to stop here. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Ramesh, uh, these recorded sessions, once it is available, please upload to your YouTube. Okay. Yes. Yes. Once the YouTube is uploaded, please share that uh, YouTube link in the group so that yes. it is going to help others. Right. And uh, please uh, uh, provide uh, numbers of uh, other two numbers, Shivani right. and Mon. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Anything in me on the group, we will discuss. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay, then. Bye, Anusha. Bye, Venkat.